All right, guys, Shotty T here with the Alliance War video. Uh, coming off of that, uh, not so great war. It's probably our worst war of the season as an Alliance, and my worst war individually because I died for the first time. But I died twice, actually. The other one you didn't see, only because it was another attempt at the boss because we, we only had like 20 minutes left, and I wasn't sure if somebody else was going to step in. I did not want us to not get season points. Ended up using Scarlet Witch again, used one of those one loyalty revives. Didn't use any health potions. Again, it was already lost. Uh, so I just used that 40% um, revive and actually took him down to 20, like 15 to 20%. I got better RNG with those armor buffs, but eventually I did get cornered again and because I only had 40% health. Uh, I actually took a lot of block damage during that fight. So so that fight can be solo, but you have to rely on RNG. So moving forward, when we have robot bosses, um, we got that rank four nebula that, um, that someone else is gonna use. And speaking of the devil, we have a robot boss, so I'm not gonna be taking them. Obviously I got all mutants, so we're gonna have a robot take on that boss. So that's gonna be the plan moving forward. And we have our boy Super Scroll once again on node 49 but our teammate will have an answer for that node this time so my team is going to be Apocalypse, Storm, Pyramid X, and Strife again all mutants we're taking all the paths up the middle that are still left uh, all six of those and one two three four five six and then we're also going to take on Cersei by then Apoc will be ramped up with his four charges he'll be taking four out of these six fights it's going to be one path, one fight with Storm and one fight with, uh, actually it might be two, yeah, two fights with Strife, sorry, three fights with Apocalypse, which will give us his three charges, uh, four charges, because you get one already. So here we go. First fight on paper, yeah, Magneto is a better option here, but for the team construction, I can do it with Strife, and we're going to use it because I need this team setup is pretty much needed here so um, we're gonna use one of those overflow boosts there and that should get us through all six of these fights I won't have enough for that hit monkey fight but that really probably won't need any boost anyway but here we go This will actually store our charges for the next few bikes. I'm not sure how much damage this SP3 will do. It's okay. Ah. Highlight real tight fight. 
But I knew it was gonna be a challenge sticking because I don't have many. But the good news is, is that I'm building up a lot of these telepathic charges. So we got 14 and that's what potions are for. So we only got one other fight with them. So we'll go ahead and uh, heal them up there. And I guess the next fight we'll just use it. Um, might use a combat regeneration boost. All right, so that was, that was fun, right? All right, next fight here is gonna be Apocalypse. We're gonna go ahead and build up these charges here. It's all about charges here with all these fighters. Uh, just got unstoppable armor, we have to remember. That's on this node. And I do have that, uh, what's that node called? That attack tactic. It's uh, sick and tired. So, heal block after three, when the opponent has three or more debuffs on them. Wait before I throw my SP2 because it's a long special. Okay. Right, now we can throw it. One charge, now we're up to two. Two more fights to go. And as you can see, we got two deaths already, but one of them probably could have planned that better. That was a good placement on that, this node right here. But, um, so that's been discussed. So we'll have that fixed next war. Um, where we are so far, we're down three to six, but the opponent hasn't really dug into our defense yet and they got three early deaths so the prospects look good but we should be winning this war we're so far down in platinum four we should be facing the alliance that we're just should be better than um we might be in tier five now that i think of it um i'll look at it uh but this fight here we're gonna use a mutant boost and we'll do a power start boost um we're gonna try to get this fight over with as soon as possible. So power start boost and mutant boost. We're just gonna blitz her down with two SB2s and we're gonna make them more potent with the, yeah. Yeah, I think it has more, I think it's more potent with SB2, right? SB2 biting attempt is increased by up to 90%. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Lightning Tempest. All right, let's go. She cut her combo short. Jesus. Yeah, if I was in that other Tempest, I would have had some glancing protection. So I sacrificed some damage for protection. But that fight was supposed to just be two SB2s and I'm done and nearly bled to death. Thank you, Boost. If I didn't boost, I was dead. Let's get it together, Shiny. Let's get it together. Oh. Shit. Wait before I go into this next fight. But I'm still kind of my heart's beating at a fast rate. Let's claim some. Let's claim some rewards and let's actually 
take a little halftime break <laughs> to uh, notify team members of, wait, what tier are we in? We're still in tier four, okay. All right, um, all right, let's go ahead and go into this next fight. I think I'm good now. I think I'm good now. Um, ooh, okay. I gotta check one thing real quick. It's one thing that's relevant about this fight. Um, Cause I, I can, like for unstoppable attacks, I can strike through it and make the opponent get passively stunned, but there's a cool down. All right, strike an opponent into their block while they're unstoppable. With, or strike an opponent or into their block while they're unstoppable. Consumes two charges and remove an effect and apply a passive stun for 1.2 seconds. Cool down eight seconds. So after eight seconds, I should be able to go back in and do another passive stun. I got 18 charges to play with. So that was the significance of that first fight. But let's go ahead and uh, apply combat regeneration boost, as we said. Save some potions here. We don't really need any more for Storm because you only had that one fight, even though it was scary. And our timer expired. All right, let's I'm not going back to the step. Okay, all right, let's get into it. So we're going to be very timely with our intercepts here. get a passive stun here. I'm gonna try to get that intercept. Hey, where's the passive stun? See, that's, that's what I be talking about. You lied, no, you no know, lie to me. You no know, lie. I was supposed to get a passive stun there, but I didn't get it. All right, let's wait eight seconds. Seconds is well past now. I'm trying to get an intercept in there if you guys haven't figured that out yet. And the timer just keep going. He ain't playing ball right now. He's being a turtle. I'm running out of patience now. Oh man, I wanted to throw the SB2. Hopefully that should be enough to kill him, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna kill him, but at least I have the Passion Fury to just knock him down after the fact. Get some more. Right, let's stop the combo. Alright, and yeah, that was fight took much longer than it should have. But that was the purpose there. Kind of give you a lesson on his uh, psionic blast. Um, Alright, we're not going to apply that for this Hope Rat and Rock fight, even though I probably, but we're going to use uh, Apocalypse mainly because we need to get more charges for that Cersei fight. So we'll, this will be more of a slow, play, slow played fight. And at least I can get some intercepts in here and there, but it's, it's gonna depend, of course. Um, but let's go. Yeah, like the intercept there. We're not gonna keep relying on that though. That's right, he's poisoning for that. This one does nothing. Alright, let's 
So. I'm gonna do a risky intercept attempt here. He is rank four, so. What's the, I got enough. Uh, well, I can't intercept now. He got smash active. Ah, well, this is gonna purify me anyway. Heal him up before the uh, Cersei fight because I'm gonna. I mean, my power, my mutant boost is gonna be gone by then, but I will. My boost will be gone, so I don't have to worry about the potion not being as expensive. How much does it cost right now? Yeah, 6,000. So probably can use these smaller potions when I get to that point. But that's. Um, Part two of the war, kind of shaky there, especially that um, Jabari fight. Well, this was all one part actually. Yeah, we started from the beginning. So yeah, that's part one. So part two um, might be later tonight. I control the time frame for these next three fights, for these next two fights anyway. So my part of the war will be done tonight. And then I'm just gonna sit back and watch. All right, later guys. All right, guys, well, Gonna go ahead and get my part of the war out of the way before NBA Finals game five, pivotal game between the Celtics and the Warriors. It tips off in like 20 minutes. So go ahead and get these fights in. We got just enough energy to reach Cersei there. And we're gonna be taking both of these fights with Apocalypse. And we're gonna apply our mutant boost. We're just gonna try to obliterate ourselves through these matchups, hopefully I don't gain too much power, but uh, we'll see. Because I don't have 150% class boost. Um, just don't want to take any chances with these last two fights, you know. Uh, let's apply that. And why not? Let's. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna gain too much power. I think that'll be enough there. Um, because we're going to apply this boost also. Because it's an overflow, right? And that'll be it for this fight. We'll add another boost for the next fight. Matter of fact, let's go ahead. As a matter of fact, we'll do this. We'll do this. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why not? But the game is freezing on me right now. Okay. And the game is kind of bugged right now, guys. It's, it's really messed up. I mean, yeah, the compensation was over. Yeah, the game is fixed. Yeah, right. I mean, it's like it's gotten worse. But I digress. Let's get into it. We've got three charges. Got one more to go. Oh, he got suicides too. That's awesome. Bars of power again. Gonna get them down here. All right, we'll screenshot that. Looks like it's Beyonder, just spelled a different way. 
I uh, got a little little sticks beyonder. Right, let's do a quick um let's see we got path eight there. Any of the bosses. Oh, Cersei has suicides. Oh great. But I'm not gonna fall for that cheese. We're still gonna we're still gonna apply, we're still gonna do the same game plan that we did. Because that's the wrong note to put her on if you're gonna use a power if you're gonna use a that's the wrong note to put her on if you're gonna use a, um have suicide because you got half of your power. I mean I can literally kill her off for of suicides. Like return policy, not that um what's that? Power efficiency. So she's gonna be throwing a lot of SP ones and it's not hard to dex. I don't get that one. But we will take the Christmas gift in June, and it is hot. It is hot. It's gonna be 100 degrees all week where I, where I am. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but that's the South for you. Um, add a little bit more protection here. Um, it's probably overboard, but after, I'm not taking any chances. I'm just gonna apply every boost imaginable, even though she has suicides, even though she has suicides. We're just gonna apply it. We're just gonna mutilate this person. All right, let's go. I mean, how do you have suicides? Harry, I mean, oh, glance kicked in. I thought the concussion would prevent her from having the uh, thing from popping up, but I guess not. It's cool. Oh, so you're dead now. Your glancing is in cool down. Yeah, I know that was that was overkill. That, that just wasn't fair to Cersei, man. R.I.P. R.I.P. We hardly knew ye. Yeah. I think I feel feel much better after the last war. Let's see where we are right now. So in our BG, we're down two to four. It's uncommon there. Let's see where we died at. I know we died early on. On the uh, we died there, and we and we died twice in our path. Must be over here somewhere. Nope. Where's that fourth F? Did I miss it? Must be over here. Oh, there it is. All right, and then overall we're up nine to eight, so we're more than halfway done with only eight deaths. Could we have our best war of the season after having our worst war? Stay tuned. But that'll do it for me, guys. I will let you, when we get close to the end, get a snapshot of where we are. And We'll go from there. Take care. All right, guys, we are done with the war. And would you look at that? We only died 13 times. We just had our worst war of the season. And now we had our best war of the season. 13 deaths. Our previous low was 18. So I think 13 would have been good for a W. I think every war this season, if I'm not mistaken. But if we can't control the past, we can only control the future. So gonna win this one guys so hope you enjoyed that like share comment below and subscribe and hit that bell notification